Hey guys, and welcome back to Idle On, and today we're going to be taking the next steps in our journey to get these characters back on track here. I'm working on my trapping pretty hard because I need more critters, especially shiny ones for several uh, items I want to craft. So kind of really going hard on some of those, trying to get my, cra my uh, trapping more efficient. And uh, I realized though that uh, the other boxes, the silks, Skin ones uh, give more shiny critters. Well, they give a better chance to get a shiny critter. So that has made them suddenly my number one choice since the main thing I need at the moment, I felt like was shiny critters. Eventually I'll need pure quantities of critters, but I really badly needed a few shiny ones. So was trying to focus on those for the moment. But yeah, trapping is something I definitely regret not having done more of because it's, you know, it really... Uh, becomes more important over time and the early uh crafting crafting items it wasn't super important but now trapping is starting to become an actually important thing so yeah we're gonna get that part going here um so right now i'm trapping the owls and i'm gonna try to get to the penguins hopefully as well so i can get the ones i need for the uh scythe craft that all right, so let's check out what's going on here. And uh, I'm up to the end of World 3 here. I was just farming some more lenses because I'll need the... Uh, the black ones are useful for a number of uh, crafting things. So I'm going to collect those. And then I'll probably go back to doing ZOW because I really badly need more of that, I think, on this character. For some reason, the damage is still kind of low, so I'm trying to figure out... What exactly I'm missing on that character. Probably the ZOW needs to be better. Maybe I need to respec it again. So. Not a whole lot going on here with the arcade. I keep playing it. Just hoping I'll get that hat. Um, but at the end of the day. Arcade's kind of a slow. Slow upgrade. Farming some golden plops. Going to need those for crafting later. So that's the main thing that I was after uh, here. And um, accidentally got this giant Neptune. So we're going to take it down and see what it's got. And what do we have? Uh, we got some candies and such. Nothing too crazy. But we got some candies. So, uh, I have a bunch of candies here I have to use at some point, I guess. Not really sure what to use them with. So, back to trapping here. Um, yeah, I discovered that I can get quite a lot more frequent uh, shiny critters by using the silkskin traps. So, that's what I'm doing here. And these ones got a good, got some quantity and some quality. It seems like I never get more than one shiny critter, though. That seems to be kind of the limitation here. So, hopefully I can uh, collect these. And then I need 50 of these, I think, for the next upgrade for my Maestro. The next weapon upgrade. So, we'll have to focus in on that. And that should be, that should be in progress after this. And then I need to go and grab the penguins to make the scythe. So, lots of trapping to be done. Definitely going to be focusing on that super heavily. So let's put back down the silkskin ones. I think I'm going to be sticking with those for now. And then once I have all the shiny critters that I need, then I'll probably go back and uh, do the quantity-focused traps. The next one's the wooden boxes which are the only other ones that I have other than the cardboard. The wooden ones seem to be focusing more on quantity, so I'll probably go and do those after I'm done with the uh, grabbing the shiny critters. It also seems that uh, I can place one more... The alchemy lets me place one more trap than I otherwise would be able to, so... 
very good um let's see what else we've got here i'm gonna go and check the quest because i want to get the next season unlocked so there we go uh pingy critters I assume those are the penguins, so let's go and uh, get trapping and see what new shiny critters we can get. Hopefully get towards that scythe soon. And I'm up to the green salt now. That's the one I'm working on currently. Well, I'm about to get up to it. Yeah, right there. I'm up to it, and, uh, well, I have a decent number of, that one requires crafting material, I mean, trapping materials as well, so we'll be working on that. Uh, lots of trapping mats starting to become more and more needed for lots of things. The minor roll requirement is pretty hefty, the dewjot eye, the part about that I didn't understand is that I have to buy, like, daily from that one shop in World 1. And it seems to be the only location that sells the antique thing that goes in the Dujot do Eye. So that's going to be kind of annoying. But I guess we'll just do that. Be patient. I'm farming some more golden plops here. Just making sure I have enough. I'm trying to go through for all of the different sort of rare crafting materials and farm them to make sure that I have enough for later crafting assignments. Because so many of the crafting things tend to stack on top of each other that... If you needed a bunch now, it seems like you might need a bunch more in the future. So there's always more stockpiling that needs to be done. Was hoping I had a hexagon here, but I do not have any hexagons. So that slot will have to stay empty for now. You can see my progress here on obols. I definitely purchased some, but golden down, I've pretty much crafted a lot of those. So uh, pretty good here. I did test out the uh, wooden boxes wooden crates, whatever as well. And probably going to stick with shiny, I uh, sorry, silk skin for the moment again, because I want to try and get the shiny ones first since they seem to be more needed in crafting. And then the non shiny ones are like needed in um, like the one of the salts and uh, alchemy needs some trapping, regular trapping critters as well. You can see here, though, I have a ton of alchemy points that were sitting around. I had even more than that, actually, at first. And uh, I it was just so many points. I ended up deciding, because I'm already at the, the top bubble, I spent a bunch of points unlocking the next bubble, but it doesn't seem to show. Like, there just is no bubble beyond where I'm at, but it let me unlock it anyways. Kind of weird. So then I decided I was just going to put all the points into boost upgrades instead since I didn't know what else to do. And I hadn't done cauldrons in a while either, like the pay to win tab. So I'm going to put some money into those. So in the end, I kind of just focused on trying to do boost upgrades that and just spread them out for the most part. I was trying to spread most of them out. In the end, I did end up mostly going for more like speed in particular. I was trying to get speed up and I was trying to get cost down, although in many cases I'd already done cost. So I was like, all right, well, we'll just kind of balance them all out. I didn't really know if there's anything that was specifically better than the others. Although I know bubble cost is always, you know, the upgrade cost is always, you know, that's always an issue. So you want to get, the, get those material costs as low as possible in many cases. But speed is also important to try and scale for uh, future needs. So just balancing things around. You can see I had a ton of points saved up. And I'll probably have even more in the future. So I have all the bubbles. I think all the bubbles unlocked now. All of the alchemy bubbles currently available unlocked. But the top ones I was kind of behind on so I'm trying to catch up here as you can see mostly because I didn't have the materials that were needed not not because I was ignoring them I just didn't have the materials there's still a few I don't have the materials for but it's mostly like uh, the uh, third souls uh, 
tier item. I don't have that enough of those. And um, there were some trapping items that I need to collect a higher quantity of. In this video, I don't have penguins. I do end up getting penguins. And then I need that other type of log as well. Big game hunter, I don't probably not going to upgrade that very much because I'm not sure I'd use it too much. So yeah, we're going to keep working though daily on alchemy. It's definitely one of the most important things in the game for a lot of reasons, just because of how many bonuses it provides. So yeah, that's going to probably about do it for this particular session. Um, I was trying to go through and get about, you know, 10, somewhere between 8 to 12 minutes of uh, footage each time and kind of just, you know, make a video out of that. So nothing super crazy in this one other than spending all of those alchemy points, but we're getting a lot, lot closer to the void weapons. And that is basically where we're going to be at very, very soon, like in the next video, probably. So yeah, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of content I should create. And I will see you guys in the next video.